Hi everybody, and welcome to Yoga at the Y. My name is John, and we're here for a chair yoga class today, uh, appropriate for all levels. The only thing you will need is a sturdy chair with a back. So to get the chair, we'll get started. And in yoga, a couple of things to keep in mind, don't go uh, beyond your head. You shouldn't have any pain in a yoga class, and we never lock the joints out in a yoga class. So if you have your chair, please take a seat and we'll get started. You're welcome to close your eyes as we begin the centering process, preparing for the start of our class. Sitting nice and tall with your chin slightly tucked, your shoulders down, relax. And begin to take note of where your body needs contact with the chair. Bringing your awareness to the present moment and to your, your place on your chair. Allowing any thoughts that come to your mind to acknowledge them and let them go. And then opening your eyes, take a nice deep inhale. Exhaling through the mouth. Deep breath in through the nose, exhale, completely through the mouth, and then we'll begin three-part breath, breathing in and out both this time through the nostrils, bringing your hand to your lower belly, in and telling deep into the lower belly, feeling the belly rise, fill with air, exhale, calling the belly in spine, exhaling smoothly through the nose. Then bring your other hand to your rib cage, and second part of three-part breath, inhaling deep into the belly, up through the rib cage as the muscles between the ribs expand. Exhale, ribs contract, and the belly begins to lower as you bring the knee to the spine. And bring your hand to your chest, inhaling deep into the belly, third part of the three part breath, up through the ribs, into the lower lungs, upper lungs, all the way to the collarbone. Hold for a second, exhale, chest lowers, ribs begin to contract, and the belly begins to lower as you smoothly expel all the air through our nose. start with a few simple warm-ups. First warm-up is side stretch. I'm going to take my right hand, grab underneath of the seat of my chair, inhale the left arm straight up to the ceiling, exhale. Take the left arm over to the right for a side stretch to the right. Put my feet are flat on the floor. Continue to breathe smoothly in and out of the and exhale, left arm comes down, grab it underneath the chair with your left hand, inhale the right arm straight up to the ceiling, exhale, take the right arm over to the left side for a side stretch to the left. Exhale, bring the right arm back and come by the side and sit straight once again. This time I'm going to take my left hand, place it on my right leg. I want to come into a sweet seated twist. So sitting tall, I'm going to begin the twist at the base of my spine. With the exhale, I'm going to twist to the right, bringing my right arm behind the back of my chair. Using that back of my chair to help me into the twist as well as my left hand that is over my upper right leg. Exhaling. You could look over your right shoulder if that's comfortable for your neck, or you can keep your neck 
back at center position. Exhale in, release back to center, bring the right hand into the left leg. Sitting nice and tall, begin twisting at the base of the spine, turning to the left, bringing your left arm back behind the upper part of your chair. As you twist and look over your left shoulder, again, if that's comfortable for your neck, or you can simply keep your head looking straight on. We begin each twist at the base of the spine and work our way up the spine as we twist gently. Exhale and release back to your center position again. Feet flat on the floor, hip width apart, hands on the knees, the beginning of what we call seated back out with the spine. Inhale the chest up toward the ceiling and out. As you let your gaze go up to the ceiling, shoulders roll back, your tailbone reaches to the back of the chair. Exhale, begin to arch the upper back to the wall or back of the chair behind you. As you tuck the chin toward the chest, tuck the tailbone into the hips. Inhale, deeply through the nose, rising up and out, chest goes up to the ceiling, head goes back, gaze goes up. Exhale, arching the upper back. As you tuck the chin to the chest, tuck the tailbone up into the hips. A few more cat cows and turn this pace for breath. And very good. Return to the center position. Take the arms straight out by your sides and we're going to make some circles. It doesn't matter which direction. Our arms are extended straight out the side short arm circles and reverse and release hands back to the knees extend the left hand straight out with the exhale take the fingers to the floor inhale bring the fingers to the ceiling exhale bring to the floor, inhale to the ceiling, exhale to the floor, inhale to the ceiling, then take your right hand, grabbing the tips of your left fingers, and just gently pull the hand back toward the body. Exhale, and take that hand back down, extending the right hand out, exhale, and the hair all the way down, just point the fingers to the floor, inhale, lift the fingers to the ceiling. Exhale, fingers to the floor. Inhale, lift the fingers to the ceiling. Exhale, fingers to the floor. Inhale, fingers to the ceiling. Take the left hand, grab the tips of the right fingers, and gently pull that hand back toward the body. Exhale, and release the hands. Come back over the knees. Again, sitting tall, shrug the shoulders all the way up to the ears. With the inhale, exhale, rolling down the back. Inhale up to the ears, shoulder shrugs, exhale, rolling back. Inhaling up to the ears, exhale, and roll back. Very good. Extending the right leg straight out, you want to come to about the center of your chair. And we're going to exhale the toes toward the floor. Inhale, fold the foot, bringing the toes back to the body. Exhale, bring the toes toward the floor. Inhale, flex that foot back to the body. Exhale, floor. And then do some anchor circles. Doesn't matter which direction. And reverse. Step right foot back, release the first one used. Extend the left foot out. Exhale, 
flexing the foot, toes toward the floor, inhale, bring that foot and toes toward the ceiling, exhale, toes toward the floor, inhale, toward the ceiling, exhale, toward the floor, inhale, to the ceiling, and then some gentle inhales. Doesn't matter which direction you start, press it so you reverse. Turn that foot to the floor, sit back in the chair, so you're supported by the back of the chair, and with the exhale, extend that right leg with the foot flexed, and release, will not lock the knee joints. With the exhale, extend the left leg, foot flexed, release. Extend the right leg, foot flexed, release. And the left leg. And release. This time we'll do some forward folds from our chair. So I move back away from the back of the chair a few inches. You may want to adjust your feet as it fits your body. I'm going to extend my left foot coming on, or my right foot, excuse me, coming onto the heel. My left foot is planted on the floor with the knee bent, sitting nice and tall. With the exhale, Keeping a straight back, leaning with the heart. Let me get in a forward fold. My hands are supported by my knees. If you want to go a little further, you can release the hands to either side of that right foot. And then bring the hands back to the knees. Engaging the stomach muscles, rise back up, put that right foot on the floor, extend and straighten the left leg with the foot flex. Again, starting with our hands on our knees, sitting nice and tall. With the exhale, hinging at the hip joints and meeting with our heart in the forward fold. Continue to breathe as you hold the pose. And then with the next exhale, if you want to go a little further, you can stay where you are or bring both hands to either side of that left foot as you forward fold. Exhale, bring the hands back to the knees, engage the stomach muscles, and as you rise back up to center position, you can try that, continue on with either foot, or if you want to do one foot at a time, or if you want to try both feet together, extend both feet out, make sure you're firmly seated on your chair. Hands begin just above the knees, exhale, forward fold. Again, we can do one foot at a time as we previously did. Stay here, or exhale, the hands down to either side of the feet top of the feet, making sure you're standing on your chair. To come out, bring the hands back toward the knees, and engaging the stomach muscles, rise back up, and place the feet back flat on the floor. Seated squat, believe it or not, squat from the chair position. This time I'm going to bring my feet wide to either side of the legs of the chair so the feet are a little bit more than hip width apart. Flat on the floor. Hands are just above the knees or on the knees. Sitting nice and tall. Leading with the heart. Exhale and forward fold. Sure you continue to breathe, nice smooth breaths in and out through the nose. You can stay right here if this is comfortable for you in your squat, or with the next exhale, continue to forward fold and release the hands maybe to the floor. Stay with the hands here, or if you want to go a little further, continue to relax in the fold and walk the hands back underneath the chair. 
Feel this in the hips. Walking the hands back out. Engaging the stomach muscles, I'll bring the hands back to the knees. And then contracting my stomach again. Slowly rise up with the assistance of my hands and arms. We'll want to probably move to about the middle of the seat for this next pose. Maybe it's a little bit more back. And this is seated pigeon pose. So I'm going to take my right leg and cross it over my left leg. If that's painful or difficult for your knees, just simply cross it over the left ankle. But with the right leg crossed over my left leg and my right foot flexed, again, sitting nice and tall with the exhale forward fold over those crossed legs.
hearts in the third position. And thank you for practicing with me today. I hope to see you all at the Y MCA here in Parker's Caribbean Future. And Namaste.